Ghana is well positioned for 5G implementation due to a robust regulatory framework, existing infrastructure, market demand, and government support. Our proactive approach and commitment to innovation has positioned us as a leader in digital transformation in Africa, as this model is the first of its kind in Africa. We hope it will be replicated in other parts of the continent, showcasing that it is possible, with Ghana leading the way as the digital black star of Africa. So this video is an update on our video about Ghana's internet upgrades, where Ghana is set to become one of the first African nations to offer a nationwide 5G network. Through a collaboration between the government of Ghana, Radisys Corporation, a subsidiary of Reliance Industries led by Mukesh Ambani, Asian's richest man, and tech giants like Nokia and Microsoft. Today, Ghana's Communication Minister, Honorable Esla Ousu Ekufo, addressed the media where she revealed details about this amazing collaboration. Let's hear everything from her. Ghana is well positioned for 5G implementation due to a robust regulatory framework, existing infrastructure, market demand, and government support. Our proactive approach and commitment to innovation has positioned us as a leader in digital transformation in Africa. Countries like Malaysia, Germany, and the United States have shown success with similar shared infrastructure models. Malaysia's Nas Digital National Behad DMB, has expanded 5G coverage, aiming to cover 50% of rural areas by mid-2024. Germany promotes infrastructure sharing for efficient resource use. The U.S. encourages innovation and reduces costs through initiatives like open radio access networks, open run. The shared network infrastructure model aims to reduce investment pressures on incumbent MNOs while delivering best-in-class 5G services to all consumers. By increasing speeds and network capacity, 5G will open up opportunities for greater bandwidth, enabling significant data transmission compared to 4G LTE. This will drive economic growth, foster innovation, create new jobs, and open new business opportunities in various sectors. This initiative is a significant step towards achieving a fully di digitalized Ghana by 2030. I'd like to acknowledge our key partners here. Nokia is providing, and it's a Finnish company. It's a company based in Finland. It is providing a state-of-the-art radio access network and has committed to set up its first technology innovation lab in Accra, offering career opportunities for engineering graduates in the technology sector and creating 5G use cases for the continent. Another partner, Tech Mahindra, a global managed services company and the prime contractor for the cloud native core network from Microsoft, will build a cloud native core network powered by leading equipment OEM platforms to support the deployment of network infrastructure and associated services. This cutting-edge technology will ensure that our network is robust, scalable, and capable of supporting future innovations. Tech Mahindra will also set up its first global software delivery center in Ghana, enabling our youth to acquire cutting-edge skills and lead in AI, robotics, machine learning, and automation. Radisys, a geo-platform company, is providing open radio access network, open run, to enable disaggregated networks for 4G and 5G mobile and fixed wireless access. Radisys also brings affordable 4G and 5G devices along with digital platforms and applications, fostering sustainable and inclusive development. This collaboration with NGIC is its first venture in Africa and hopefully will be the first of many. Its partner company, 
Reliance Jew, set up barely eight years ago, is currently the largest mobile network operator in the world with 477 million subscribers. We hope a little bit of their magic will rub off on us in Ghana and through NGIC, the rest of Africa. A lot of interest is being shown in NGIC in the global world of technology, as this model is the first of its kind in Africa. We hope it will be replicated in other parts of the continent, showcasing that it is possible with Ghana leading the way as the digital black star of Africa. In conclusion, the Kufuado Baumia government is committed to ensuring equal access to internet connectivity throughout the country. This shared network infrastructure for 5G represents a strategic move to provide affordable, high-speed mobile broadband services, reduce the digital divide, and promote financial inclusion. This initiative is a significant step towards achieving a fully digitized Ghana by 2030. We look forward to the successful deployment of nationwide 4G, 5G services and the transformative impact it will have on the lives of Ghanaians. Ghana, 100% digital. It is possible indeed. During her engagement, the Honorable Minister was asked whether this new upgrade will increase mobile data prices in the country or it is going to help reduce it. Uh, this good news to every Ghanaian. Uh, but uh, there's a saying that every quality thing comes with high costs. I want to find out whether the deployment of this 5G service will uh, increase the cost of data because we are already suffering whether it will cost high a data purchase for Ghanaians. And this is what she said. We don't expect there to be any corresponding increase in the cost of data merely because of the introduction of 5G. A different service is being provided. If you want to sign on to it, you subscribe to it. If you want to enjoy your existing service, you do it at the rate set by your network operator. I expect that because this is a shared infrastructure, which reduces the cost for the network operators, they will transfer that into better service offerings. And it may even lead to a lowering of the cost of delivering that service, which can only inure to the benefit of subscribers. Now, if in individual MNOs had to build this network themselves, this is a very capital intensive industry and it is very expensive to roll out um, mobile networks, infrastructure. And that is why the government took a strategic decision to use a shared infrastructure network company to deliver the service. So that is all for today's episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video, my crowd.